Hello guys, today we will install Windows XP in VirtualBox Manager. We have to make sure that we have the VirtualBox Manager installed. You can find it on Oracle website. And we have to make sure that we have the Windows XP professional disk, the image. I have it on my desktop, Microsoft Windows XP Professional Service Pack 3. Now, we have to press the new button. We have to choose a name for the operating system. I will use Windows XP. The type of the operating system will be Microsoft Windows and the version Windows XP. Here we have to choose the memory size. I will use 512. It's enough for our testing purposes. I will have a running operating system in our virtual box. Press next. Here we have to create a virtual hard drive. The recommended size of 10 GB, so I will use 10 GB. Virtual box disk image. Dynamically allocated or fixed size. I will use dynamically allocated because I don't need a 10 GB file without any use. Windows XP 10 GB. Now we have to start the image. Here we have to select the image of the operating system installation disk. We will use Microsoft Windows XP Professional Service Pack 3, which I have on my desktop. You have to select it from wherever you copied it. Press start. The setup has begun. Setup is starting windows. Soon we will have to partition the 10 GB so Let's wait. Okay. See, here we have 10 GB of unpartitioned space. We will have to format it so our windows can be installed. I will use NTFS file system, quick formatting. It's quite fast. set up its copying files probably I will cut this video file so you don't have to wait for these steps guys I really hope that you understand my English and I really hope that uh, you can understand my accent I will try to improve both of them so it will be easy for you to understand we don't have to press any key, we don't want to boot from our virtual CD-ROM. Microsoft Windows, it's loading. Installing Windows. They say 39 minutes, but probably in maximum 10 minutes we will be with our operating system installed so you don't have to follow this probably it's because I have a quite fast computer so installing the devices If you like this video, just hit the like button so I will know and I will continue to upload the videos. Here we have to use our regional and language options. I will let the default English United States 
US keyboard layout. Just just pick a name, test, I don't need an organization name, computer name, test, administrator, password, I will use test123, doesn't really matter at this point. Date and time settings, I will let it default. You will probably choose something different here, depends. Now it's installing the network. It's quite fast, I told you. Here probably you will want to join this computer in your own work group. I will just use test or home, whatever, doesn't really matter at this point. Here you will see that our virtual box is accessing its hard drive and network. It's quite interested. interesting. Completing installation. Registering components. They say 13 minutes, 10 minutes, probably in 2-3 minutes we will be up and running with our virtual box. Using the default settings we'll make sure that our internet connection inside the virtual box is there. However, I will show you in further videos how to personalize this. Saving settings. Okay, we are done. It will reboot. We don't have to press any key, we need to boot from the hard drive, from the virtual hard drive, inside the virtual box. OK, we'll press OK. Windows adjusted your screen resolution. If you can read this text, click OK to continue. OK. OK, pressing next. Protect my PC by turning on automatic updates. We will skip this. We will connect it further. Next, your name, test. Next. Thank you, thank you too. Finish.
Now our Windows XP is installed. Let's try to see if the internet connectivity is there. We will ping google.com. Okay. It's up and running. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you liked it. So, see ya.